A 10 News viewer called us saying his mother is getting sick because managers at his apartment complex are ignoring tenants who are violating the non-smoking policy. Now he is suing, claiming his mother's health is spiraling from breathing in so much secondhand smoke. So it's just a smoke, 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 and I'm tired of it. Arturo Ramos lives near an apartment with what he calls a family of chain smokers. And it's been hell. He's taken pictures and video of people right outside the apartment puffing away. That smoke, he says, makes it right into the unit he shares with his mother. For the past year, my mom has been sick from bronchitis from the secondhand smoke. Making matters even more frustrating, his apartment complex, John Adams Manor in Oak Park, voluntarily adopted a non-smoking policy inside the units and within 25 feet of the buildings. But despite complaints, he feels management is turning a blind eye. I cannot leave in my doors open or my windows open because there's smoke coming in to my house. I tried to talk to one of the neighbors who lives in the apartment. Well, you're smoking in this area. No, I'm not. Well, there's video of, of people who live here smoking. Ramo says he had no choice but to file a lawsuit against the apartment complex. The manager wouldn't go on camera because of the pending lawsuit, but says she is enforcing the policy. Since October, we've been logging it in. Ramos installed smoke detectors from the American Lung Association inside his apartment to measure how much cigarette smoke is actually making its way into his unit. It smells like smoke all, all day. It's really depressed me. Mom and son say they can't just pick up and move because they are on a fixed income and they don't have the money. The case will be heard in court on Wednesday. Of course, we'll be there and we'll keep you posted.